the goal is that we want to uh, slow down the biology of your age, mm -hmm. right? So like you can, you don't get those diseases early on and then suffered from long time. Hello everyone. We have an exciting topic today, how to slow down aging. I have a pleasure to introduce our guest, Dr. Chong He, senior scientist at uh, State Sun Biopharmaceuticals Inc who worked before the Buck Institute for Research on Aging in California. John, welcome to our podcast. Thank you so much. It's really my pleasure to be here. Uh, I know also that uh, you're very passionate about restriction as a way to slow down uh, aging. So can you share with us uh, some evidence uh, from, uh, research, uh, from research on this topic? Yeah, so... Um... If there's a one method that works for every single animal organism that has been the, in the research of biology of mm -hmm. aging, that is color restriction. So that means that if you only give the animals about 70% of the calorie that they're supposed to eat, and the animal have that food intake every day, mm -hmm. they live longer and healthier. Okay. One of the most famous study is actually, the study was started in the 80s, so they mm -hmm. used monkeys. Uh -huh. So they used monkeys, it was about like 25 years old study. And then they published in the early 2000s, they found out the color restricted monkey. They live, uh, I'm not sure if they just relatively live longer, but they definitely live healthier. So mm -hmm. if you just compare the picture of non color restricted mon monkey, means that they can eat whatever, and yeah. then color restricted monkey. The restriction monkey, they look much healthier. So they have, they don't have uh, hair loss, you know, they don't have wrinkles. They just look like perfectly like a young monkey, even mm -hmm. though those two groups are biological, uh, chronological, have the same chronological uh -huh. age. Okay. Yeah. So one of the idea is that we wanted to, scientists, we wanted to find out what governs the nutrition mm -hmm. sensing pathway. What is the mechanism that caused them you know, live longer? And uh, we, scientists already find out there's a major pathway. It's called mTOR signaling mm -hmm. pathway. So TOR is nutrition sensing pathway. You know, like it's actually very critical in our developmental stage because TOR can cause the cells start to divide or grow, grow bigger or mm -hmm. differentiate. Uh, and we also find out if we can successfully uh, inhibit TOR pathway function, then mm -hmm. we can make those animals live longer without, uh, you know, star them, <laughs> without doing <laughs> uh, color restriction. So um, there are definitely a lot of um, study has been going on. And um, I think that our goal is that we wanted to find a way that can mimic color restriction. There's also other alter alternative way. Mm -hmm. So for example, there are, um, you know, fasting or yep. time restricted eating. So mm -hmm. what that means is that, um, you know, there's like uh, five, two day uh, fasting, you know, like you only eat very small amount of calorie in five days, and then mm -hmm. it can be benefit for longer period of time. So I've done that. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I, I think yeah, was it so difficult? I, I, was it hard to do? No, no, I think the second day was a little bit hard because there's a transition time. But towards the end of the fasting day, I feel actually, I, I feel good. Mm -hmm. So um, I follow one of the um, uh, paper that is published by Walter Longo. He's mm -hmm. a professor from South uh, USC, University mm -hmm. of South California. Yeah, so he's a big advocate of uh, fasting. Yeah, okay. so I think fasting is fairly safe because you only do that for like five days. Mm -hmm. And uh, for people, if people wanted to do color restriction for a long period of time, then you have to be very careful to know that you get enough nutrition, right, from okay. a short amount of food. But color restriction, I think for healthy people, for, you know, like you and me, mm -hmm. uh, we can tolerate fasting for like five days and then the study shows that after the five day fasting you know our ketone body goes up which is a good thing you know our blood pressure up yeah glucose drops uh blood glucose drops blood pressure drops all the good things happen 
I think one of the great thing is about, about fasting is that when they test fasting animals, they found that their organ shrinks, right? Mm -hmm. The stomach shrinks, kidney shrinks. And then the shrinking will be reversed mm -hmm. once we eat, once we start to eat normal uh, okay. diet, right? Uh -huh. Think about that, the regeneration of a stomach, right? Mm -hmm. So like when you shrink and then you go back to the normal size, mm -hmm. This regeneration is become is from the new cells. Okay. So basically, your body is eliminating, you know, all the bad stuff, and then, you know, regenerate, you know, rejuvenate basically. So that's why i I think that the fasting actually makes sense. Okay. And also uh, from Botologos paper, they saying that uh, after your fasting, you know, five days, people can be benefit from that uh, in two, three to six months. Mm -hmm. So what that means is that you don't have to fast in every 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 month. You know, you can do that uh, twice a year, three times a year. Okay. I think you can still be benefited from that. So, yeah. So I'm a uh, um, I'm pregnant right now, so I'm, I yep. can't do fasting. <laughs> but uh, I definitely wanted to try it again after okay. I'm done with breastfeeding and everything. And, yeah. and John, on this five days um, calorie restriction plan, uh, how much calories do you take relative to your regular calorie intake? regular diet is uh, 2,000 mm -hmm. per day, right? Okay. The five days, they dropped to 700. Uh -huh. uh, and then majority of them, so al almost 40% of the diet came from carbs. Mm -hmm. 40 or 50% came from uh, fats, actually mm -hmm. good fats. Okay. Like he's a big advocate of um, olive oil. Yeah. So he recommends <laughs> a lot of olive oil. And um, only 10% from protein. Okay. Interesting. So basically, yeah, drop down a lot of protein and then only eat 700. Yeah. Okay. Then, yeah. yeah. So when you have a chance, uh, please uh, send the, yeah, the paper I'll, to me. I'll send we would you love the paper. to check it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Okay. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. And, and so just to build uh, on, on the previous point of a uh, good mix or proper mix between fats, carbs, and the proteins. So you talked about it during the fasting period. But what about uh, like regular diet? Yeah, someone yeah, who wants to diet. stay healthy and uh, yeah. So what what what, uh, what is the recommended mix? Calorie, total calories should be two thousand. Okay. But you know the average American people they eat thirty nine hundred calories. Wow. So mm -hmm. first of all, eat less. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think a lot of people overeat without knowing that. Okay. And then second of all, there have been a, a several studies they use animals. So flies and mouse, mm -hmm. so they give them the total the same amount of calories, mm -hmm. right? And then so they change uh, the fat and carb and uh, protein ratio. Okay. So what they found that, that is that if they increase carb and low down protein, mm -hmm. that is the best way to extend health span and lifespan. Okay. Not vice versa. Not mm -hmm. high protein and low carb. Okay. So but that is based on they have the total, uh, you know, the, the same total calorie per day, okay. right? Uh -huh. So, yeah, so, uh, but in terms of people, I think there's still variations, um, you know, debates going mm -hmm. on. There is a book about five blue zones. So mm -hmm. what that means that they studied, you know, different population, different area. They found out there's a five zone, you know, in Okinawa, in Japan, and in, uh, Mediterranean country in Italy, Greece, there's certain um, population in those area that live re relatively longer than mm -hmm. the rest people. So they studied their diet and then they found out, you know, uh, in summary, like those people, they eat more plant based diets mm -hmm. and, um, you know, like fewer animal based diet. Uh, okay. So basically, you know, Mediterranean food is uh, there's a lot of olive oil. Mm -hmm. There's even study that on the people who are, have high risk of getting heart disease, and then they separate them into two groups. One normal diet, one is this high uh, high fat, like uh, olive oil okay. diet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they found that olive oil, olive oil actually can prevent them of getting heart disease. Mm -hmm. And this has been tested in like thousands of people for like five years. And then they have to stop the study because it's unethical. The result is so different. <laughs> they have to stop it. So, like, yeah. So, definitely, 
people have some misunderstanding about fat. You know, like fat is not all bad. You know, there's definitely good fat and bad fats. And then I think, can, yeah. can you Can you elaborate on these good and bad fats? Right, exactly. So good fats, you know, like unsaturated mm -hmm. fats, right? Like the olive oil that we're, we're, we're uh, taking. So bad fat is, you know, like saturated fats, animal okay. fats. So mm -hmm. those fats that you don't really want to get too much. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, so go back to the, um, uh, the different nutrition. I think like, yeah. first of all, we need to generally, uh, eat less. Okay. We're eating too much, <laughs> even though we don't, under, we don't even calculate, but if you do calculate, you will be surprised how okay. much you end up eating. And then I think like, uh, more plant-based diet, uh, mm -hmm. is benefit, at least from the blue zone study. Okay. Yeah. Um, there are also, you know, since we're talking about, you know, uh, fasting, there's another way of, uh, you know, the alternative way of fasting mm -hmm. is called time restricted eating. Okay. So that means that you can still eat the same amount of food, mm -hmm. but you need to pick your time. <laughs> <laughs> so it means that, uh, we'll have 24 hours a day. So if you can eat the same amount of calorie in a short amount of time, mm -hmm. uh, preferably in an eight hours window. Mm -hmm. You can eat the same amount of food, but you will be healthier if you don't extend, if okay. you don't stretch this time frame. Mm -hmm. So there's a study by uh, Sasha Panda. He's a professor in, uh, in Salt University, uh, mm -hmm. Salt Institute. So he studied when do people eat and then how does it affect the, the health and life. So he found out that people eat constantly, like mm -hmm. <laughs> the moment we open our eyes, we, our mouth just can't stop. So there's a, you know, all our, our organ, our body, we have circadian rhythm, yeah. right? That's why we sleep at night, we get up in the morning, it's energetic. Sure. And then our protein has the same rhythm. So okay. it means that, for example, your insulin, mm -hmm. your insulin are most sensitive in the morning, mm -hmm. but least sensitive at night. So that means that you can probably eat more sugary stuff in the morning, but right. not before you sleep. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, like he found out if we could shorten the frame mm -hmm. um, and then you can eat the same amount of food, but okay. you'll be healthier. So like he will prefer eight hours means that, you know, you can start your breakfast at nine and finish your last meal at five. Mm -hmm. Nothing else. You can't really do, I mean, you can only drink water after okay. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But not even like black coffee and <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah. Because, okay. you know, even though there's zero calorie, but it will alter your metabolism. So, yeah. Okay. Got it. Thank you. All right. So, uh, and then of course the next big topic is exercise. Uh, so what is, what do you think the impact of exercise on uh, aging? Yeah. Exercise. Um, I always tell people to do exercise and nobody wants to listen. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that is, you know, one of the most uh, effective way to slow down aging. Like there's a tons of study showing that if, if people do exercise, our brain got healthier, even, uh -huh. you know, like our skin got younger. Uh -huh. There's paper, yeah, already showing that. And then um, I think that um, I'm a big advocate uh, of ex you know, I think exercise do help a lot, you mm -hmm. know, like uh, with a healthy diet, it can definitely benefit for our life and health. So I, I, I there's a, there's the study showing that you don't have to be super active or athletic mm -hmm. to do that. Only even just 30 minutes of house short, you know, yeah. for people who are kind of older and a little bit, um, not too, uh, you know, not too flexible, you know, mm -hmm. and then you, they, you can just get up and then do something for, you know, do some the housework and people can still be benefited from that. That Excellent. is from like uh, a paper showed benefit uh, from housework. Um, so yeah, so I think that the, the take home message is that just do something, get the heartbeat going. Yeah. It doesn't really matter if you do endurance or resistance. Mm -hmm. it's, they're always benefit. Yeah. So okay. Yeah, I'm definitely, <laughs> I, I would like to see people do more exercise. Got it. Yeah. Okay. 
Hey, I think I'm done with my questions, Sachonk. I, I again, I really appreciate you, you taking the time. And uh, yeah, so I would like to wish you success in your research. And then hopefully you will have uh, more people to extend their lifespan with a uh, healthy lifespan, I have to say, with, uh, with yes. the results of your research. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's really pleasant to talk with you. I think we had a great time. Thank you.